Blindfolds all in place, panel. Yeah. Would our mystery guest enter and sign in, please? Okay, panel. One question at a time, and let's start with Gail. Thank you, Larry. Mystery guest, are there more than one of you? No, there's just one at the present time, there's one. Okay. One, he says. Alan? Are you best known for your work on television? Yes. Arlene? Are you, uh... You may say best known for it, Alan, but not only known uh -huh. for it. Uh -huh. Ah, then are you also known for your work in the theater? Yes, I am. Soupy? Uh, do you have, are you in a show that is playing on Broadway at the moment? I am. Gail? Is that show a comedy? Yes, it is. Alan? Is it musical comedy? No, it's not. Arlene? Show playing on Broadway at the moment. Uh, and it's a comedy. Yep. Um, and you are the star? Yep. Yes. I'll answer that one. Okay, so, Soupy, I'm sorry. What, what, sorry what? Is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, That's would, why I'm so sorry, I didn't tell you. Would you be, oh, <laughs> would you be the brilliant Art Carney? He would. <laughs> Arthur? Art Carney can probably do more things well than any 20 guys in a building. It's really amazing. And he Thank can do you. more voices, so he could really have fooled us. Well, in the days of radio, I don't know how many people know that in the days of radio, Art was one of the great radio actors of all time. But really. what I want to know is, other than the fact that Art is starring in The Prisoner of Second Avenue, when you were with Horace Heights' band... <laughs> You've got a memory. I don't, what did you do with his band? I did a night. Is uh, impersonations, mimicry, and some novelty songs and things like that. Who That's did you impersonate? Started. James Polk. <laughs> <laughs> James Fenimore Cooper. James Fenimore Cooper. Yeah. Well, but, but, Sorry, close your eyes, you swear he's in the room. Yeah. <laughs> William Jennings Bryan. I did all those people. <laughs> but in but in those days, now this this goes, this is the late 30s. What who did you imitate besides like it was Franklin Roosevelt and Elvis? That was the most spectacular. Yeah. Ned, Ned yeah. Sparks and Edward G. Robinson and uh, uh, Cagney and all the ones yeah. that everybody did, you know, and the radio commentators, Gabriel Heater and Bo Carter. There's an old one. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you know, Winchell and uh, uh, all of them. At what point how... did you suddenly get to be Art Carney? When I went into radio, I guess, when I uh, did some soap operas and gangbusters and counters. We worked together on some shows. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, I walked in and said, dinner is served, and then there was a long <laughs> scene that you were in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't go away, will you? We have to break okay. away for a minute. Don't leave. We'll be okay. right back right after this message. <laughs> Good luck at the Amundsen with the play. Thank Prisoner you. of Second Thank Avenue. You. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for What's My Line, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.